Well, I'm going to jump from subject to subject probably, but uh, one of the main things that I wanted to talk about is education of hospice. Uh, so many people think of hospice as a generic <coughs> term. It's one organization, that's all it is, and it's only when you are about to die. Well, when in reality, there are many different hospice providers. The last time I checked, there were about 15 hospice providers licensed through the State Department of Health to do business here in Madison County. Now that makes up a lot of competition. We're in a very competitive business. And one of the things that education, uh, the tie-in there is, is that when someone needs hospice, when they are told they need hospice or their loved one needs hospice, it's like a punch in the gut. They have no idea where to turn, what to do, so they take the recommendation of the physician or the nurse or whoever is recommending a certain hospice. Now, uh, getting back to it being very competitive, there are a lot of physicians that have financial interests in hospice organizations and hospice providers, be they uh, medical directors or owners. Uh, so a lot of times you're going to get pointed in a direction that one physician wants you to go, which is not to say that's necessarily a bad thing, but it is very important when you hear somebody, uh, you know, tell you, gee, you know, my, my mom's got dementia, my dad's got Alzheimer's, or, or another family member or loved one has come, has been told that they are diagnosed with a terminal illness. Now, whether they're still being treated or not, it is incumbent upon that family to educate themselves about hospice and what hospice can do for them. Uh, you hear me say every week that we serve terminally ill individuals and their families. Well, that is one of the most important things that we do. We offer this support to the family. Uh, our RNs, who are also the case managers, they are the liaison between the hospice provider and the family. They can coach these folks, it's not a great word, but they can let this family know what to look for and when, what process this individual is going to go through when the actual dying process begins. And what this does, it alleviates a lot of fears from the family. They know what to expect. They've been told what to expect. So they're not as freaked out when these things start to occur. It's still a traumatic experience, no question about that, but if you've got somebody you know that's a phone call away or just a short trip away to your house that can come in and alleviate your fears and, and let you know that this is natural, this is what's happening now. It really makes a lot of difference. So we always encourage folks that you know, if you anybody that's dealing with this kind of thing, encourage them to educate themselves about hospice.